Your citizens, be aware that the vassal, Prince Herod, Tetrarch of Galilee, has come to the city. By order of the triumvirate, during his residence here, all mockery of Jews and their one God shall be kept to an appropriate minimum. I am told Roman gentlemen do not solicit bribes. One must offer the bribe as a gift. Is that so? Yes. Yes, that is so. We are the most dreadful hypocrites, I'm afraid. I offer you a gift, then. Help me take the throne of Judea. Make my enemies your enemies, and I offer you a substantial gift. Uh, how substantial would this gift be? How substantial does it need to be? 20,000 pounds of gold. Done. I said we should have asked for more. You must guarantee, of course, to keep your Jews in line. They will do as I say or they will suffer the consequences. Congratulations, then, Herod. You have the full backing of Rome. One question. Yes. Our friends, Octavian and Lepidus, you speak for them, too? I do. We speak with one voice. So they will not come to me later expecting gifts of their own? No, no. No, your gift is for all of us. Good. One, two, half, such. Trust between friends. Oh. <laughs> That is what I call a good morning's work. Indeed, a good morning's work. May I inquire what my share will be? Share? Share of what? Of Herod's gift. What gift? Ah, I see. Here. Let me be clear. There was no gift. Herod came here today to discuss administrative issues of taxes on olive groves, of border defenses against the Parthians. There was no gift. I understand. Really, Posca, ever since you got your freedom, you have become insufferably greedy. Well, go home. Have a good lunch. Make love to your pretty young wife. But do stop grubbing about after other people's money. Trust me, you'll be far more content. <laughs> 